Do I still have sex is another question. Yes, I do. Is it condomless sex? Yes, it is. Don't tell my kids. <laughs>It's Monday and um, I was thinking all weekend, what can I do that I haven't already done? And um, I might have kind of already done this in other videos, but I'm going to combine it all in one video. Today I'm going to do the fun facts because I get the same questions over and over and over again regarding my diagnosis. And so I thought I'm going to make a video that people can refer to, hairs in my eyes here, that people can refer to and they can just get all their questions answered in one place. So this is where it's gonna be. Pardon the hair, I'm trying to get situated here. Okay, that's not working. There we go. Okay, number one, by the way, my neck is still messed up and I'm uh, kind of in pain right now, but I'm gonna try to get through this video and not whine. I had an MRI yesterday, still trying to find out what's wrong with the neck. Okay, number one, how did you get HIV? I got HIV from an ex-boyfriend who didn't know that he had it. Um, it was transmitted to me via condomless sex. So it was through sex, I was not born with it. I was 45 years old when I found out that I had it. I got really sick, I ended up with AIDS. That's how I found out that I had it. And that was on February 15th, 2016 but I know that I actually got it in 2013 because I know the person that I got it from. I know that I tested negative for HIV in 2011, so I did get it in 2013, and yes, I did have AIDS, because a lot of people ask this. There's no way that you could have AIDS less than three years later. AIDS takes seven to 10 years, which is um, not always the case. So I am proof that that happened. Um, some people's bodies just handle the virus differently, and it just, I don't know, it was more aggressive for me for some reason and it attacked my immune system faster, but it did happen in under three years and my CD4 count did go down to 84 um, at the time that I was diagnosed and a viral load of 507,000. Okay, um, when did you get HIV? I just answered that in 2013. I think it was around August of 2013 um, for kind of because based on symptoms that I had um, shortly after that, and pretty much because of that. Um, and just watch my videos, my uh, 16 symptoms, I'll put it here, you guys can refer to that. Um, who gave me HIV? It was an ex-boyfriend. I get a lot of times people ask if he's black. He was not, he was Caucasian. So demographically, if you look at who has HIV, the highest risk are young gay black men. Um, so I guess that's why that comes up, but no, he was Caucasian and um, heterosexual. He got it through drug use, um, through using and sharing a needle before he had a relationship with me. How much are your meds? Mine happen to be free because I go through Medi-Cal, which is low income insurance through California, and I, all my medication is free, all my medical care is free, and um, if you don't have something like that, you would probably pay a copay for your medication or there's several programs that you could go through in the United States. ADAP, the AIDS Drug Assistance Program is one of them. It's statewide and that's mostly how people get their medication and it's based on a sliding scale. Um, a lot of countries, um, you know, of course there's countries that have access issues, but several, co many countries have, um, you know, medication that is free. I hear that quite often. Um, do they make me sick? My medication does not make me sick. I have, um, if I don't eat, I might an hour later feel a little queasy for maybe five minutes. That's about it. That's the extent of my um, side effects. I don't have anything. If side effects are too strong, typically, and they're not manageable, they will try a different medication for you. There are many, many, many medications out there for HIV, and they are called antiretroviral um, medications. They are basically stopping the re replication of the virus. Let's see, am I a sick person? No, I do not get sick very often. I'm, my, my being sick is just like it always was. My immune system has had time to recover, and so it works just just like it did before. The virus is dormant and hiding in my body. There's a very small amount of the virus left. The virus is not 
um, an issue for anybody around me. Nobody's going to get this from me, um, including my boyfriend. Do I still have sex is another question. Yes, I do. Is it condomless sex? Yes, it is. Don't tell my kids. Um, and if you want to know anything more about that and wondering how that's possible and he doesn't get it from me, it's called undetectable equals untransmittable. Go to www.preventionaccess.org and learn all about it. If you're undetectable, you cannot transmit the virus. It's been proven time and time again. We don't even need to go into that. Just check out the link and um, you can look into that more. Look at their fact sheet. They have a lot of uh, great information on that. Uh, more fun facts about my HIV diagnosis. Is your boyfriend on PrEP? No, he doesn't need to be because I'm undetectable. What ARV do you take? I take Triumec. It has a Bacavir. I know I say these wrong. Uh, I call it Dilutegravir, but I know it's not. It's really pronounced differently. And Lamivudine. Those are the three that are in my one pill that I take. Triumec. Um, can I still drink alcohol? Yes, of course I do. Sometimes, occasionally, if there's a party, if my boyfriend's here and we have a glass of wine, um, I might have some alcohol. I am not a drinker. I'm not really into drinking, um, at this stage of my life. I had stages where it was more fun and I did, but, um, no, not really into it, but I will have a glass of wine here and there and it's not, um, it's not permitted. No, it's not um, restricted. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, it's permitted if I want it. What's your life expectancy? Uh, what I've been told, it's, there's no different than it was before. I mean, I could run into a truck when I walk out of my house right now and die. But, um, as far as like, you know, other things affecting me because I have this, um, it should make no difference. Same life expectancy. I'm just so freaking happy I've made it this far. I'm 48. I've survived a gunshot wound, two of them, and um, AIDS. And I'm still freaking here. So, um, you know, I'm pretty darn happy about that. Why do you say you don't have AIDS? There's no cure. Okay, people get very confused about the difference between HIV and AIDS. They are two, sorry, two different things. HIV is just the virus. AIDS is what happens when the virus attacks your immune system and then you get all these other infections and things happen when when the virus replicates in your body and has time to do that when you're not medicated and your immune system is now compromised and so other infections are able to come in that would not normally be able to come in that's when you have an AIDS diagnosis but with today's amazing medication. When you start that antiretroviral therapy, it stops the replication so fast. It's amazing. Um, I have videos when I talk about uh, my viral load, how fast it went down. We're talking like weeks, like a month and a half. It was like literally non-existent, almost, almost. It was literally like almost non-existent. And so when the virus is suppressed, your immune system can go, oh my God, thank God uh, for leaving me alone. I'm gonna like do my job here and recover and get better. And I'm gonna start taking care of this body again. And that's what it does. And so the immune system is able to recover and your CD4 count goes back up. Those are your T cells. And when that happens, you don't have AIDS when you're past 200. So right now my CD4 count is like 500 around there and um, I feel perfectly fine and I'm not sick. Can you get HIV from kissing? Um, no. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. Uh, no. It doesn't happen. It's not in saliva. And um, so how come when you do the test it comes out that it's positive. It's because it's looking for the antibody. The antibody is what's in your, it's like your cheek scraping or your gum scraping. It's not your saliva that you're, that you're getting the test um, positive, negative for. The results come from a scraping of cells on your cheek or your gums and that's showing that you have the antibody. The antibody is not contagious. Not, no one's gonna get HIV from kissing. Do your kids have HIV? Um, no, <laughs> they don't. Can I call you? No, <laughs> sorry. Here are five paragraphs of symptoms I have. Can you tell me if this sounds like HIV? No, I can't. Please go see your doctor. Does this rash look like HIV? I don't know. I'm not a doctor. How do I donate? www.jenniferfaughnvaughan.org slash donate. Why do you say you don't look like the type to have HIV? Can't anyone have HIV? Yes. HIV is a human immunodeficiency virus. It means it goes into a human, but statistically, I fall into a very small category. That's why I say I don't look like the type. Is your boyfriend afraid that he's going to get HIV from you? 
No. In fact, um, we don't even talk about HIV other than the fact that it's like part of my advocacy, but really, um, as far as him being concerned about it, it's a non-topic. It's a non-issue. He doesn't see me as somebody living with HIV. He Where did you get this great Eeyore costume? Well, Eric actually got it on the road and he doesn't even know that I'm wearing it, but I thought I would take advantage of it and use it for a video. So those are my fun facts about HIV. If you guys can think of anything else that you want to ask me, please feel free and maybe I'll do another one and um, answer as many questions as I can. So thanks for subscribing and supporting my channel. It's um, really a pleasure to know so many of you out there. I've had some really amazing lives with you guys and um, I love meeting and talking to everybody. It's great. Have a great week, everybody, and I will see you next Monday. Bye, guys.